Hi everyone and welcome to my drawing session. I'm Brenny, a self-taught artist from Belgium and today I'm taking you with me and talking through a portrait I'm making in my sketchbook. Here I'm just spinning down the paper so I can get started immediately. Today I'm using a lovely blue and as you can see very used pencil from Carandash. It's from the Luminance series. I fell in love with the smoothness and vibrancy of these pencils. I'm not sponsored or anything, but I can definitely say that they are my favorite pencils for drawing monochrome pieces. Today I won't be showing you techniques for getting the proportions of the human face right, because I usually don't use those, as you can see. Um, I know how to from watching an interesting online course, but I'm more of an intuitive artist. I don't know if that's a thing, but I follow my gut and I step back from my artwork a lot to check if the proportions are still right. So with this drawing I started with the left eye and drew the other important parts of the face very softly before defining them more. Again, there's lots of stepping back and squinting my eyes um, and I try to block in the general shapes of the whole drawing and then I start filling the more specific parts in. As you watch the video, you will see that I'm a bit all over the place, meaning I tend to work on everything or multiple things at the same time. It's how I do everything in life, not only drawing. Let me know in the comments if you're the same as me or if you like focusing on specific parts more before you move on. I would love to know. I know right now it looks like I'm going really fast, but in reality I'm going really, really slow. So here is me uh, drawing the lips in real time. I think it's very important to also show the slow process and the hard work that you put into something um, because with Instagram, uh, reels on Instagram and TikTok videos it might look sometimes like it costs no trouble at all and uh, everything goes so smoothly and fast and might be discouraging, in reality it isn't like that, art takes time and hard work. So this is the result so far. I've done better drawings, but I'm pretty pleased with how it's turning out. When you step back, you can see that the shading is giving more depth to the drawing. It's very important to be patient and to add layers and layers and uh, start very softly. Don't give up if your drawing doesn't look like anything in the beginning. Every drawing starts with a couple of lines. I think drawing hair is the most difficult part of the drawing, for me at least, because you want to um, give the illusion that the hair is moving around, that it's soft. Um, I try to focus on the darkest parts at first and uh, I try to leave the lightest parts open and fill in um, the gaps between a little softer. I think it requires a little bit of experimenting for your own and uh, seeing what works for you. But a, t a great tip I think is to start with the darkest parts and um, then see what you can do further. 
I think it's important to focus on the hair as a whole and after you can uh, add in the little details like the hairs that are going with the wind or crossing the face, um, again, the hair takes lots of patience. <laughs> I kinda lost my patience with the right shoulder, but this is my finished drawing next to the reference picture. I don't know whose beautiful picture it is, I just found it on Pinterest. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you pick up your sketchbook and pencil to create something of your own.